Welcome back to Heart and Soul Homes. My name is Monica. So glad you could join me today. In today's video, we are going to be refurbishing a um, antique piece that was actually my grandmother's uh, for our cabin. So let's get into it. Okay, as I stated, this is a um, antique piece. It is solid mahogany. Uh, it was my grandmother's and it's a beautiful piece, but it just needed a uplift, just kind of just um, make it a little bit fresher and to fit the space that we want to put it in um, a little bit better. So whenever I'm redoing a piece of furniture, I always make sure that I deeply clean it. I'm trying to get any of the maybe wax or varnish or any of that kind of or dirt, any of that kind of stuff out. So I always wash it real good. And there are products that can be used. I like crud cr cutters. Um, it's just a great, a great product to be able to clean um, the piece of wood before painting. You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge, cleaning out With us it's all or nothing After I got into this project and I was trying to just spray paint uh, the whole thing and and see if that would work, there's just such a, a, a thick layer of varnish on here that's probably extremely old. <laughs> so what I did is I went ahead and just painted the chalk paint from the can straight on in a white. That way I can go in with the spray paint afterwards and it's got something to adhere to because it was just basically kind of sliding off of the of the wood. paint is a chalk spray paint and also the white that's coming out of the can is a chalk paint as well. It just gives a nice just a nice finish kind of an older look uh, and I also always use a either a wax sealer or I use a just a spray sealer which is what I had to do this project. So I always like to seal it that way I can clean it better and um, but you still have that chalk paint look. be better to go ahead and bring it in and show you inside the um, the color it's just the palest blue it's called serenity blue um, what I ended up doing was one uh, one base coat of chalk paint in white all over I found that the varnish um, I, I you know tried to remove I put something on to remove the varnish and whatnot but I found that it just, the spray paint was just, um, just sliding off. So I went ahead and did the one really good coat of the white chalk paint. 
and then let that dry. And then as of then when that was done, I went in and sprayed. And I did two coats of the Serenity Blue uh, chalk paint. So I just love it in here. Um, as you remember, it was a dark, uh, solid mahogany piece. It was actually my grandmother. So, I mean, it's, it's a very sturdy piece, um, but just too dark for this space. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the drawer, I painted the, the knobs, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, drawer handles on and connect it, you know, put it into here, and we're gonna go ahead and style it. It always amazes me just what the difference in painting hardware. This was a, um, a gold, a kind of, not a, a shiny gold, but a dark gold. Uh, you know, just very old fashioned looking. I mean, this was an older piece. Uh, but just not even changing the hardware, but just spray painting it black just gave it such an updated uh, look, even, you know, even putting aside painting the, the, the piece. So I just, that's a great tip. Just don't get rid of your hardware, just paint it. Here we go. Here is the, the final look of the piece. And as you can see, I mean, it just goes so nicely. Oh, hello, Jesse. <laughs> it just goes so nicely with some of the gray tones that are in the floor, um, but also the, the golden tan, our navy rug. Um, this is gonna be painted. I'll show you a second. I did a, a little sample, but it's a beautiful piece, just not a cabin piece, you know? but it's great storage, it's a great looking piece, but I'm gonna transform it so that it looks perfect in this room. So let's get this in its spot. Why don't we talk about this? So this is what we've got going on. Um, the whole purpose of doing this little cabinet was for all of this um, electronic station here. Everything used to be up here, okay? And one, this is valuable uh, decorating space for me. <laughs> and two, um, it was difficult if you look, if you were sitting in this chair or you were sitting on the couch, it was difficult to get the remote uh, to, you'd have to stand up and kind of face the remote to the cable box, which is the small one right there. So, and then we've got security and we've got a DVD player and then I think that's a modem or something, I don't know. And so that was kind of the whole purpose of doing this, to get it up off of this piece. Now, I realize that this is not good but I am the worst at detangling something. Anybody that knows me knows I do not have the patience for that. So I did the best I could. <laughs> and then I'll, you know, have one of the kids kind of trace back and, you know, fix the cords. But I thought this plant would work well to kind of, you know, hide and, and you know, maybe I'll get some dressing to put in there or something so that it kind of hides the stuff in the back. But I think this is gonna work much better. We've got the little dog bed that they, you know, very rarely do they use, but sometimes it's kind of nice to have by the fireplace. So getting onto this piece, this is a beautiful piece and I've always loved this hutch, but I don't love the design. It's too ornate. It's too, uh, just a completely different look than what I'm trying to go for um, up here. And so, what we're gonna do is, I did a sample here. This is a white chalk paint. It's a little too stark, um, but what I did is I bought a, it's called Driftwood, and it actually is very close to like this color, okay? So what I'm gonna do is all around here, all around the cabinets and the drawers will be the driftwood. Inside will be the white, but I'm gonna add some of the driftwood inside. Um, 
to make it a little bit not so stark of a white. Painting the uh, handles. So the inside right here will be the off-white around will be the driftwood. And then we're going to see about just saving this trim all around. So not painting it. So it's got a little bit of that dimension in it. And I think along with this wood wall, it's just gonna make this wood wall pop. Excuse me, Daisy, I'm trying to explain something. Anyhow, so that is what the plan is. And I think I've got, we took a big family photo that I'm gonna do a glass or, or acrylic frame, just, you know, or the picture on that. So I think that's gonna just be really, really beautiful right here. And then I'll just style up here, um, you know, with some photos and, you know, maybe some books to give it some height and whatnot. But I just think this corner is coming out really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and style it and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, so I just went ahead and styled it. Again, I've got my, got the little doggy bed. Um, I just put this sweet little picture in of my niece and my grandbaby and a little, just a inexpensive little floral. I'm gonna keep all of the remotes down in the drawer. But something I decided to do as I was looking, I just grabbed some sandpaper and just rubbed off a little bit on the edges just to kind of, you know, it's an old piece just to kind of make it look like it was always this way. Um, got all of our equipment up here and just added a picture of Nana and the baby there. And I've got my dad and a, a, a family picture. And then this was at Christmas. It was, um, you know, our family pajamas and everything. So just got this cute little area going, got all this at Big Lots. Um, the tree I got at uh, Ikea, it was in my office at home, but I just felt like this was a better thing here for this corner. You know, I went ahead and styled up here, but this won't stay this way. You know, I mean, I'm gonna be painting this, it's gonna change. I wanna have some books for some height. Um, but just in the meantime, you know, I just added, you know, a little wreath here to, um, you know, kind of just give some of the greenery, lighten this up over here. Um, again, inexpensive little, I think I got this at Big Lots as well. Um, just put some picture frames up here and a wreath around the candle. Um, you know, just, just so that it looks nice right now. But, you know, as I talked about, this whole piece is gonna change. And that's what I wanted to get across to you guys today. If you've got a piece, this piece was, has been out in my garage for a long, long time. Instead of going and buying, which I almost did, um, a small little stand for this purpose, I was like, wait a second, I have that piece out there. No, I don't like it in the color. I, I think it needs to be updated and, and lightened up for here. But you know, if you've got a piece of furniture that works, bring it out, refurbish it, repaint it, you give it some new hardware, whatever, just to update it. Um, you know, recycle it. This is a beautiful piece. Now, does it fit with what I'm going for? No, it does not. But I know that it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous and very functional for like family games, art supplies, um, you know, storage, cause these are all cabinets and drawers. So. You know, and then up on this on this uh, wood wall, it's gonna lighten it up, just make it airy, and I mean, it's gonna be gorgeous. So don't don't count out a piece you already have, or like Facebook Marketplace, or Goodwill, or something like that, or a garage sale that you can find a good piece, but then make it fit into your space. Uh, it's way less expensive, and you know, it's kind of fun because every time you look at a piece. You know, every time I look at this piece and then when this one's done, I'm gonna be like, yeah, wow, look at what I did. I took something that wasn't, you know, really working for us and I turned it into a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I hope I gave you some good information and, and a good idea of a way that you can, you know, just spruce up a piece of furniture and an area in your home and for not a lot of money. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. With us it's all or nothing